Bakersville, California, I introduce to you Ivan. We spent the whole evening together in, in uh, Bakersfield. We pulled everything out of the chiller, and then we reloaded it one at a time, exactly the way we had to do it. So now you're, pro, you know, now you're the pro now, right, Evan? Good man. He made it back. How many days did it take you to, to get here from you California? Guys made record time. This is a tough business. Over the road trucking, hot shot truck is a tough. Hey, business. When's the last time you've been home? Probably been home in weeks, right? Yeah. They, they 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 go to the truck stop, take showers. They're on road. But look at this. This is from Mark's collection at a Bakersfield. This is a 1978 Harley Davidson shovel head. Look at this thing. His pops had this bike since the 70s, and it is absolutely freaking gorgeous. There's 18 bikes in this trailer. 16. 16? Okay. Uh, so it's, it's going to be like, you know how the Shriners, when they, like a whole bunch of them get out of a car? Yep. Stay tuned, because the bikes going to be coming out of here for the next half an hour. So the next one up is a classic Harley Davidson. Is that a 125? I think so. Think this is actually an Ar Armaki. Uh, Harley Davidson had an agreement with Armaki in the 70s. AMF Harley Davidson, when AMF bailed Harley out. A lot of people talk shit about the AMF Harleys. There would be no Harley Davidson today if AMF, the bowling ball company, didn't bail them out because Harley was bankrupt. They were out of money. And uh, once they got their shit together and back up on solid ground, Willie G. Davidson and the rest of the executives from Harley bought it back, and the rest is history. It's a total success story. So here's another classic. Bakersfield, California is very sunny, warm, arid. They don't have winters there, and there's very little humidity. So the, the chrome on these bikes is, is like, and now they haven't been washed in 30 years. They've been uh, in, in the collection in the barn for a long, long time. Um, these ones, the ones that are dusty or dirty, the ones that are in the house or the house are super clean. Uh, he, had, he had them on a, on a shag green carpet, carpeted living room, the real Primo bikes. Right, right in this house. Got some classic Hondas. Th this one here is an ST90. Get class. I hear the Beach Boys songs every time I see one of these. Beach baby, beach baby, give me your hand. How'd you like to cruise to the beach with your honey on the back of that when you're 15 years old? Street legal dirt bike, 90 cc. These things are bulletproof. This one's got 7,320 miles. That's that's like half of what someone puts on a car in a year, and it's 50 years old. What a beauty. It's all there, too. Next one up. I should, I should let Billy Blythe take the mic on this one. The next one up is very similar to Billy's own Armaki uh, yeah. 350. You're, except for Bill's is a 250, if I'm not mistaken, right? Correct. Yep. This, one, this one is probably the worst condition of any of the 42 motorcycles. This is trailer number two, guys. We got three trailers, and just like James always does, he does the pickups. I said... I saved the best for last. Bit my tongue. I'm so excited. Bit my cheek. I also just had a protein bar Billy gave me, so it's all stuck to my teeth. A big peanut butter, peanut butter protein bar. Look at Junior's nasty BMW. Where are you going, son? We got work to do. Lighten up the plot. All I was going to see is the taillights going down the driveway here any minute. Hey, hey guess who's going to be left doing it? You and me, Ron. Yeah. Just as always. No traffic on the extra mile, is there, bud? Pay no attention to the floor about to fall out of the trailer. <laughs> Check this thing out. You know how you tell what year these are? Hold on one second. There's a VIN number on these classic Harley Davidson's, this particular model. If you look down on the engine cases right here, see this right here? Now I'm blind because of Junior's LED lights. Lift it up, lift it up a little higher. A little higher. There you go. Can you read that? Yeah, it is a... Huh. Yeah, I can't read it either. 67H. 67H. Wow. 67H. 1967 H model. It's got the racist stripes on it. They actually raced these, too. Uh, they're Italian, Italian made. This one is in pretty rough shape, but uh, we've restored worse, so... Don't be surprised if, if we're wheeling, wheeling that down the driveway a couple months from now. Th this one really caught my eye. This is a really cool piece. This was Mark's personal bike that he had when he was a kid. Um, it's a Honda. Or excuse me. Excuse me, Honda. It's a Harley Davidson Rapido, yeah. and it's a very, very rare two-stroke Harley Davidson. Uh, very, very cool. Look at the look at the engine on this thing. It's just freaking beautiful, man. And show him the paint job on it. Show him the lines on this paint job. 
It's a little dusty, a little crusty, but she's gonna shine up like a new penny. It only has 3,000 miles on it. Um, what, what a machine. It's all there too. Next one up is a uh, classic, classic, absolutely stunning Honda Trail 90. Now, hold on a second here. 272 miles. This is one of the bikes that was on the shag green carpet living room since 1970, whatever year it came out. This thing has been stored in the house and it shows. In New England, all this chrome, this is just dust, guys. All this chrome on the rim would be shot because um, it's a very uh, humid climate up here. All this chrome on the, on, the, on the exhaust would be shot. Look at this, the original idiot sticker on the swing arms intact. This is the finest original Honda Trail, what is it, Trail, Trail 90 that we've ever had at the shop. And not, not by just a little bit, by a long shot. Look at the giant seat here. You put both your kids on that one and take them to the beach. <laughs> All right. What a cool piece. Next up, this one, this one really caught my eye. This is a BSA 250. Listen, it's a little dusty, but under this dust, take a look at this. It's got a beautiful paint job on it. It had a frame up custom build, beautiful chrome on the wheels. Look at the exhaust, roller forward whiz. Show them the exhaust on this thing. Megaphone. It's got a megaphone muffler on there. It's just freaking cool. Mark told me that his dad handmade the fender on this and uh, built this, uh, built this custom, built this himself in a shop. Now they, now Mark's family owned his dad Harold and Mark and Mark's son. Um, they owned a Harley Davidson shop for in a, a BSA and Triumphs and did all brands for over 25 years. I don't know exactly how many years, but he was a very successful in this business. He had a Prevo bust. You know, Prevo bust today is a $3 million bust, a beautiful home and this massive collection of bikes. So he retired young in his uh, late 50s, about my age, and spent his uh, later years traveling the country in his Prevo bust, riding his Harleys and whatnot. And he had one hell of a collection. And uh, thank you, Mark, for trusting us to do the right thing with it. That's a cool piece. I can't wait to wheelie that thing up the driveway. This next bike right here, this is one of the last years of the right side shift Triumph Bonneville. Come on in, I gotta show you this thing. The paint job, guys, the paint job on this is the original 50, oh no. 50, no, is it 50? Yeah, 51 year old original Triumph paint job, original exhaust. Near as I can tell, this bike is 100% original, except for maybe the tires. Very rare. Now, what I like about the Tiger, watch your taillight, it's banging off the door. What, Billy, spot him yep. on the taillight there. Um, pretty much guaranteed it'll get smashed to bits if you're not careful. Yeah, there you go. So, that, that taillight is the original, has the original, uh, you know well, you can get Chinese replicas, but they have the original date code on, they have date codes on the taillights because of, of DOT. Um, and very few of these Triumphs from that era will ever, will you ever see them with the original factory turn signals on them like this one has. It's just remarkable. This has a really cool, I think it's a, I think it's a fact, factory accessory toolbox. On the, show them the rear, toolbox on the rear fender, Ronnie. It's got 30 years of dust on it, but wait, wait till we steam clean this and polish it up. Again, Southern California bike. See, see, the, see the, um, how black the wheels are, but look at this. Beautiful chrome underneath there. Wait, wait till we put the shine on this thing, man. She's going to be absolutely freaking stunning. And we will keep the original paint. We'll restore the original paint to the best of our ability without repainting it. Just touch, just maybe a little touch up on that scratch and then we'll buff it, you know. Keep it original. Oh, wait till you see this Honda. This thing's beautiful. Classic Honda CB175. Look at this thing, original paint, original chrome. Just a beautiful piece, man. A little dusty, but um, an absolutely stunning original Survivor with 3,000 original miles. Original upholstery on the seat. All original fenders and chrome, original paint. This is how I like to get them, guys. Original, they're only original once. Even the, um, even the front fender on it is, look, check out the front fender on this thing. Chrome's gonna shine up like a new penny. Let's check this thing out. This is a BW350, one of the most highly collectible all-terrain motorcycles that were, were ever made. This was the big boar, the big daddy, the Mac daddy. Now, it's got a Curtis Sparks 414 big boar engine with the, the Super Trap exhaust and an oversized carb. And check out the rear tire. 
This is Mark, this is the original tire on it. Mark bought this brand new. The tank tell, turned yellow from 40 years of sitting in, in the barn, but we have a technique. We're gonna sand this the tank down and polish thing up like a new penny. Um, put new graphics on it. I can't wait to rip this thing. Hopefully we'll have it done before the snow's gone. Big swing arm on it, but the Curtis, getting a Curtis Sparks 414 big wheel is like, you know, unobtainium. They just don't exist. Very rarely, and uh, this Mark, like I said, Mark bought this brand new. Look at the frame rails on here. These are, these have not been been touched up or anything. There's no boot marks on it. But Mark said it had very, very, very low hours on it, and it's just been sitting for 30 years in his garage. So that is that one's a diamond in the rough. Guys, right, check out this 1972 Triumph Daytona T100. This is the high. Uh, the twin car model. This is set up for, for desert racing with the high pipe on it and the, the missing front fender and the longer shocks. I had one of these when I was 14 years, years old. I actually had to go to Rockville Court right up the street here because I got arrested for riding it without a driver's license when I was 15. I got pulled over because I didn't have any glasses on. And uh, he asked me for my license. I said, I'm 15. The only, re the only reason I pulled over, to be honest with you, it was a construction site and I was kind of, I wasn't even really pulled over. I was just driving through and he walked up and there was nowhere to go, you know? But uh, trapped. I was trapped. Trapped like a rat. At a construction site. But, but otherwise, you would have pulled over. Like, uh, yeah, a safe. I'm, I'm law, absolutely yeah. pulled right over. So uh, I rode that thing everywhere. And uh, we went to the we went to court. And my father is like, he's grounded. He's grounded for the whole summer, you know. And he's acting like I'm in huge trouble. And the, and the judge is like, he's just a kid. You know, he made a mistake. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, take it easy on him, Mr. Kaplan. And uh, <clears throat> we left and he flipped me the keys. And he goes, don't get caught next time. And we went to the uh, balloon, I think it was a balloon saloon. Balloon. It, it was a bar right down the street from there. And he bought a pitcher of beer and uh, and I had a beer with him. You know, I was, I was 15 years old. <laughs> my, my pops was from the 60s, all right? Things were a little different back then. And I don't recommend doing that with kids these days. You know, don't recommend driving without glasses and drinking beer, but that's kind of what happened in the 70s. But when I was a kid, not anymore. This is the was known of as the Black Beast of Bakersfield. Now, Mark was a pro-level rider, and uh, this bike should need no introduction. It is one of the fastest, actually the fastest bike of 1978. It's a Honda CBX 1000. Show them the, show them the pipes. Six cylinders, and uh, he did a bunch of work to it, and he said he very rarely lost, it, lost any uh, stoplight races in this one. It's a little dusty. It's a 78. But he upgraded it in 1980. He really liked the paint job on the 1980s, so he bought a 1980 tank and tail fin and side panels. And uh, this is a beauty. We're gonna have uh, Mr. Turbo Justin go through this thing. He's really into the CBXs. We'll oh, get this dialed in. Nice. We'll get it dialed in. This is much nicer than I anticipated to be. Perfectly. It nice. is, isn't it? Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you, you get, you know, you see a little dust. You see a little, uh, and, and you think it's this one would have been ridden by the mod by the mods, not the rockers. This is a Honda Express 1981 model with a black and white seat. Uh, another another classic that has been sitting in their barn for uh, too long, and we're gonna give it a second chance on life. Gonna get her run and restored and set her free. You meet the nicest people on a Honda. That's right? what they say. That's it, man. Wizard number two, will you take, will you just look at it? You got to take a wizard for a ride before you understand what it's about. This is a pacemaker. What that means is, is it makes your heart beat faster when you're riding it, man. Because look at the big single cylinder four stroke in there and the open exhaust ready to. Everybody thinks you're on a bicycle till you're zooming to the beach, no problem. Yeah, and when you're riding your 75 pound bicycle with a helper motor, you need four foot wide handlebars. So you have maximal leverage on the front end. And long travel suspension. Engineering. How many miles on it? 200. 200 miles. Mark, Mark, look at the California plates on it. Mark's dad bought that brand new. I got all the paperwork, everything. We got titles to all these bikes. Well, actually, not most of the bikes. I think there's, out of the 42, I think like maybe 18 of them didn't have titles, but hopefully we'll get registered for them. This badass chopper. This, this thing was the terror of Bakersfield right here. Mark, Mark said he never lost a race on this. He had the engine built. Now, they owned a shop, right? So him and his pops would build hopped up bikes. He took the CB750, put in a hard tail stretched frame with the long travel forks and the drag bars. He's, he's punched out, he said it was punched out to 1,014 cc's and it has the big RC racing uh, performance exhaust on it. And, and will you just look at the profile of this thing? This is classic 70s badass. Man, I can't, because these, these single overhead cam Honda CB70s, 
Uh, Ju- Mr. Turbo, Justin has one of these. We have one in the basement today down at the dyno machine because he ran on the dyno. Turbocharged single overhead cam 750. And this one's going to clean up like a new penny. Can't wait to get it going. All right, fellas. In one ear, you hear Senior taking a bathroom break, and then the other ear, we're emceeing the CD175 coming off the trailer. Beautiful red bike. We have our Vanna White, Mr. Bill Blythe, the legend, representing the uh, lovely 60s Honda with the aluminum sides on the fuel tank. What a beauty. That's a CD175, isn't it? What a stunner. Oh, hey, the next thing off the bus is straight out of Walmart, Bakersfield, California. 10 tubs of, uh, this is sometimes, sometimes when you go on a pick, I thought we were getting all the pictures of the, of the memorabilia along, they had like all these Harley Davidson models and stuff, and Billy and I and Junior thought they were included, because the pictures came with the other pictures, well they weren't, so I spent $300 on boxes for them at, at Walmart, I was like, hell no, I ain't throwing them out, so we had uh, uh, Vito, um, or Igor, uh, bring them all the way back from, uh, from Bakersfield, California. Ivan, mean, I'm sorry, Ivan. Yeah, help. Look at it. Just look at it. Wow. We got the Wizard. We got the Triumph. We got the BW 350. We've got the classic Triumph 750 Bond Build, the, the CB, the BSA 250, the Trail 90, the Honda, or excuse me, Harley Davidson 125, the R Mecky 350, the Honda ST 90, the R Mecky 90. We've got the uh, FLH. Check this out. Can you read this right here? See? Guys. Harley Davidson's 75th anniversary 80 cubic inch electric glide. This is an original paint, 1978, in pristine condition. We got the little Honda, <coughs> the CD175. Then we then we got the, the the Black Terror of Bakersfield right here, in the Bakersfield race bike. So yeah, pretty cool. These, these are these are what these are the kind of picks that our dreams are made of, man. And Mark, thank you for for. Uh, honoring uh, us with the opportunity to restore all these bikes man i'm so excited i can't wait to get started uh, this is trailer number two i saved the best for last trailer number three i'll release that video tomorrow night releasing one what day is today wednesday. Seventh. Seventh. seventh wednesday so i'm dropping one tonight tomorrow when you're watching this will be thursday and friday night hey will the other the other load be here by friday no monday so oh monday yeah. sorry guys monday night I know Mondays usually suck. Don't die on Monday like more people die on Monday the other day because Monday night it's going to be worth, I got something worth living showing up here. A, a collection that's going to absolutely blow your mind. One of the nicest knuckleheads we've had, the aunt and pan heads and shovels we've ever had the opportunity to purchase. But thanks again, Mark. God bless you and your whole family. God bless America. And uh, let's uh, build back better, folks, right? As we make motorcycles great again. <laughs> bipartisan everybody pull together man the country needs everybody to pull together and what better way to do it through motorcycling no politics no politics or bullshit here god bless america